I'd like to welcome the star couple, Dinesh and Ila Paliwal, to the podium. Their tireless efforts have made this evening possible. Thank you. One more round of applause for Lata. Thank you, Lata, and good evening, everyone. And you all look wonderful tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Eli and I are truly honored to serve as Gala Chairpersons this year with such an outstanding group of enthusiastic and dedicated friends and family. Our engagement with AIF is very personal. Eli and I are here as are our children, Shreya and Ashish. Giving back is something we all feel passionately about especially when it brings together the two countries that have also given so much to us, America and India. While it is true that a third of the world's poorest people live in India, some of the most brilliant minds in science, technology, engineering, math, as well as design, art, music, come from there. AIF is addressing the key issues that will help people overcome poverty. Through the learning and migration program, AIF is providing access to high quality education. Through Digital Equalizer, India's underserved get connected to the world through technology. And through market aligned skills training program, we call it MAST, for young people in asset ownership with rickshaw sung, that's a tricycle, AIF is enabling sustainable livelihoods and encouraging entrepreneurship. Having begun as a small group of passionate individuals, the American India Foundation is now a network of active philanthropists and dedicated NGO partners who are working together towards one goal, to bring India's marginalized out of the shadows and to empower them to lead better lives. Over the last 13 years, AIF has invested more than $84 million in India. <laughs> and together with 227 outstanding NGOs and social enterprises has impacted close to 2 million lives throughout 23 states of India. All this work is only possible because of people like you. You step up to show support at events like these. My family and I are truly honored and inspired to be part of the American India Foundation and grateful to all of you for your support to AIF, and especially to those people and the organizations who have joined us tonight for the very first time and are generously supporting AIF's mission of catalyzing social and economic change in India. So thank you all very much. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce our first 2014 American India Foundation honoree from the United States. Dan Hassey is Chief Executive Officer for Sprint Corporation, he is a true visionary who has driven many of the trends we all take for granted. In our mobile words, embedded Wi-Fi, 4G, and near and dear to my heart, the first mobile phone with high-definition audio. <laughs> Prior to Sprint, Dan was the chairman and CEO of telecommunications technology companies Embark Corporation, Terra Beam Corporation, and few others. He spent 23 years at AT&T where he served as president and CEO of AT&T Wireless, and I dare to say, the youngest ever president at that role. Building on his professional achievements, Dan is also incredibly dedicated to improving the environment and helping others lead more meaningful lives. A product of the values that his mother and father bestowed on him, Dan was recently presented with Corporate Responsibility Magazine's Responsible CEO Lifetime Achievement Award. 
it's not hard to understand why Dan sees his role as CEO as an opportunity to make the world a better place by engaging his employees, customers, shareholders, and suppliers. He approaches corporate responsibility like any other business. By setting ambitious targets and relentlessly measuring progress, he is particularly passionate about sustainability, healthcare, and accessibility. Dan serves on President Obama's National Security Telecommunications Advisory Committee and also on the National Board of Governors of the Boys and Girls Club of America. Dan's accolades reflect the energy he gives in each area of his life. And Diane will confirm that, his lovely bride. He was named one of the top 10 inspiration leaders who turned around their companies by Entrepreneur Magazine. And he has twice received Wireless Week Magazine's Leadership Award and once ahead of Steve Jobs. I have that copy with me. <laughs> His employees earned him a spot on the list of 2014's highest rated CEOs. Dan, I admire your accomplishment, respect your commitment, appreciate and value your friendship. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you this year's American India Foundation honoree from the United States, Dan Hassey. Well, Dinesh, uh, thank you so much for that very kind introduction. Uh, hello, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's great to be here. By the way, I hope that you caught Dinesh on Kramer's Mad Money yesterday. He was terrific. Um, congratulations on a great quarter. Um, and I'd really like to thank the America India Foundation for uh, this, uh, this honor, and particularly our Galich co-chairs, Dinesh and Ila Palawal, who are wonderful, generous people. And it is just uh, a real privilege that Diane and I shared to, to know both of you. So thank you. Um, I'm humbled to join a group of the, the honorees who have been up on this stage in, in past years, and I'm particularly proud to be uh, sharing uh, this recognition with, with TK. Um, I realize I wouldn't also be accepting this award if it weren't for thousands of wonderful Sprint people, uh, some of who are here tonight, and I appreciate all the fine work that you do. Like uh, many of us, and as Dinesh indicated, I, I trace my core values back to my parents. And my parents instilled in me and my, my siblings, four, four sisters, uh, a, uh, a real compassion for and desire to help those less fortunate. And the American India Foundation has helped uh, around two million of those less fortunate uh, in India. At Sprint, we innovate relentlessly. We're granted an average of over two US patents every business day. And roughly 30% of those patents uh, have been granted to Sprint employees who are either Indian or American of Indian descent. And much of that innovation is focused on areas like improving um, education, youth development, our communities, the environment, distracted driving, and particularly trying to improve the lives of those with disabilities. Both Sprint and IF, or AIF also work hard to improve edu educational opportunities for our children, especially those uh, who have fewer opportunities, those who perhaps live in underserved areas. Earlier this year, President Obama, in a State of the Union speech, recognized Sprint for our support of the Connect Ed program, which has the goal of connecting 99% of America's schools and libraries with high-speed internet access. And where Sprint comes in is we provide wireless high-speed internet access to those kids who, after school, um, their families can't afford uh, that access, so they can do their, do their homework. Anwar Sadat once said that without a vocation, man's, meaning, or man's existence would be meaningless. And tonight's recognition means an awful lot to me because I really see the CEO role as, as a vocation because it gives us the resources to do good things. But uh, Margaret Thatcher, I think, said it very well. Uh, no one would remember the good Samaritan if all he had were good intentions. He had money, too. So uh, 
I know tonight is not an inexpensive evening. I'm looking out on many good Samaritans, and we really appreciate all you're doing to support a very good cause. Thank you very much.